Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Jeff hit it. Welcome to the counselor's office. That's right. We're back in the counselor's office with some more Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last episode, we took on the champion. We won. We beat it. I've got good news. I got bad news. So here's the thing. Here's the dealio. You're wondering, where am I at? Why am I in a random cave? Why is the team different? And here's 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 the the big deal. I recorded everything. I've already I went through all of Kanto. I beat the gym leaders. I've even beat Red. All my my hard drive went out, and I lost everything. Everything to do with my channel. Every last video I had, except for a few, I poured over to like a a, a big boy eight hard drive to like con conserve it. Uh. To preserve older stuff but i only got like some of the old nuzlocks but everything else is gone my sound effects my everything is gone all of it gone dead so here i am doing one last video trying to record luckily i saved before i did anything like i ended here luckily so let's do some catching up we're about to do red i beat him but I will do it again. Let's check. You won't know where or how I got these Pokemon. I'm sorry. Some of them will seem familiar. We got Daisy the Sunflora. Not bad. By the way, Red, his ace is 81. Everyone else is 81. We got Rainbow the Ho-Ho. I recorded like, I think a month ago. So I don't even remember how I got Ho -Ho, Rainbow. I feel like Rainbow was... Just another random encounter. Rainbow's nasty, though. We got K Draco. That's right. We finally got a Cedra. Uh, I don't know our Kingdra. Sorry, we got finally got a Kingdra. I don't know where, because this game doesn't tell you where you get them. Future games will tell you where you caught them. Am I wrong? Yes, I'm wrong. All right, I'm not wrong. I'm right. So defense. It is a special attacker and special defense. Right on. Right. Right. Looks. It's a it's a beast. Raiden, the Raikou. We we know where we got this. We got this little waterfall before we went to the Elite Four. Physically attacking. Very strong. Enigma, the Mewtwo. Classic. It's been with us for quite some time. Godzilla, the Tyranitar. That's right. We got our hands on a Tyranitar. It is a speedy defense tank with good special defense and some all right uh physical attack that's the team ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a shorter episode short yes a shorter episode unfortunately because like i said this this is i've already done this i've already beaten it but i want to give a proper send-off so i want to apologize to everyone who's who missed out not a lot changed in the kanto series of of the game uh small things changed but overall We've experienced the Kanto. Like, we've we've got the gym badges. I actually ordered my own Kanto gym badges. Uh, I'm ordering Hoenn next. So that gives you an idea of what to look forward to. But before we do this, because we're about to come to the conclusion, let me know in the comments down below what if you've been watching since the beginning or if you've just you've been watching a while. What well, what was your favorite part of the series? That's one. I got it's a multi-part purpose. Secondly, what did you what did you like in general about the Nuzlocke? Or the randomizer Nuzlocke? What'd you like? And what did you not like? Like what 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 improvements would you like to see? Again, I'm not a professional uh, Nuzlocker or Pokemon content creator. In fact, I this is the most Pokemon I've recorded in a long time. With that out of the way, again, I would appreciate your comments. Hit a like for the video. And uh send the, the playlist link to the friend to your friends. Um send them send them one of the videos. Say hey, check this out. Alright, are you ready? Because I'm ready. I beat him the first time like a month ago, it feels like. So this is gonna be interesting to see. <clears throat> If I can beat him again. Hello, Red. I honestly don't remember 
his team. <clears throat> All right, Pokemon Trainer Red wants to battle. Sends out. Oh, that's right. He has the Mewtwo, and that's his ace. It's literally Mewtwo, and it's ironic that it's Mewtwo. All right, I'm going to go for uh, Razor Leaf to see if I can crit. I'm going to let Daisy take down a Mewtwo. Uh, be, it's one of those interesting situations where you never thought, oh, that's right. He's a little tanky. Um, okay, Draco. No, Raiden, Enigma. I mean, technically, I can maybe kick Enigma. Uh, Mewtwo can can kick Mewtwo butt. See, I, I never got Psychic unlocked, which is shenanigans. That hurt. Um, let's fly. Now, I know I have high defense. I'm just curious if it does more than psychic. Enigma is also, it also hits very hard. Okay, that's good. Now we just need to hope we don't get crit. And that we can hot swap into something. Don't die, Enigma. Thank you. Again, it's been such a long time that I don't remember. Uh, Confusion's also 90. I mean, we could try going for Confusion. The only problem is, is uh, his new two has Amnesia, which is annoying. All right, we're just going to go for another fly to finish it off. I think that's something... I did like having... The ability to have any Pokemon use um, HMs, but I've noticed it also gives some Pokemon, like half my team has Fly, and so maybe in the future we cap it to one Pokemon can learn an HM, so we're just, that they would not normally be able to learn. Like, obviously Enigma, I don't think would ever be able to learn Fly, so we would not, that way it keeps it from being cheesy, you know? Keeps it from being bro overly broken. Um, let's go Godzilla, because it's dark and rock, which bodies Zatu. Yeah, like you're you're getting bodied, broskies. But in my that's that's my opinion. I think that's that's a critique I would put for myself is in the future if I allow, like for older games, obviously, fan made games may be different. There's not too many older games I could probably revisit. Oh, what the? Special defense. Uh, where are you going, buddy? Yeah, let's go, Godzilla. Bring the crunch. But yes, I 100% uh, think there should be HM. If it's open... Oh, I forgot about you. Um, I'm going to go into Raiden. I have to be careful because this thing does know, it does know, uh, Destiny Bond. I'm going to go for a quick attack, try to beat a Destiny Bond, and hopefully we do enough chip damage that it doesn't use counter. Let's go, crit it. I, I don't know if the crit mattered, but let's go, Raiden. A, a very fast, speedy boy. All right, Espeon. I'm going to go into... Um, go Daisy. Uh, Daisy is obviously not... Not Sunny. Never replaced Sunny. Meganium was the OG. Uh, Daisy can take some hits. Let's don't, don't underestimate Daisy. Daisy can take some hits, okay? I remember using Daisy... Uh, I don't know if she was better than Egghead, but she definitely can come up, hit some... Now, don't, don't, don't disappoint me by doing nothing. Especially the fact that you're... You know what? Sometimes you're wrong, and you have to live with it. <laughs> uh, I don't, I think, let's see, I think he only has like one or two Pokemon left after this. So, if we can just knock out this Espeon, I think we'll be solid. Um, I'm gonna, 
I think Daisy is a physical attacker, so I'm going to go for a waterfall. Let's test the waters. See what I did there. And I'm also, another thing is, I'm going to give randomizers a break. I think randomizers are fun. And they do have their moments where they're terrifying. Like, the Elite Four was probably the most terrifying aspect <laughs> of, uh, what a re move Daisy and go to K Draco. Uh, the Elite Four was terrifying, and that's where it matters. Like, if you die at the Elite Four, I mean, it's usually, it's game over, right? So, I would like, I'm glad this Elite Four was a challenge. I'm glad it, I felt like, wow, I'm, I'm getting my butt kicked. Because you usually don't always get that as a grand finale. Now, this video may be anticlimactic to some. I mean, it's more of a, a final salute. Uh, but I've already beaten Red. Like, this is no no biggie for me. Oh, he has two more. Okay, Jinx. Um, let's go into... I'm just going to go into uh, Enigma again. Or... I don't know if again, but I'm going to Enigma. Uh-oh. Wait, I have high defense, so I should be able to surf tank this. Yeah. Enigma has high defense, and we should be fine with a full restore. If you haven't already uh, figured it out, yes, I will be doing Generation 3. But I'm not going to be doing a Randomizer. I will be doing a Nuzlocke. Um... I, oh, I don't know how much this is going to do damage-wise because we have low special defense. Okay, it's good. Let's just fly. Let's fly, baby, fly! I don't know how much damage this is going to do. We're going to see. Substantial. That was substantial damage. Oh my god, we're just getting the crits! Yeah, baby! Let's go! Oh, Executor? Oh, baby, baby. Let's go. Let's finish it off with some flair. Let's go, Rainbow. Rainbow the ho-ho. I don't know how much. Stomp does like 200-something damage, so. Oh! <gasps> My god. Is Oh! What? Why does it do so much? It literally does almost the whole... What? This Executor is like the fi end game boss. Dude, if I get a cr if I get crit, I'm just going to have to hope it misses or something. That or I can go to K Drake. Now, K Draco, I need something with flash or something that can just like... This is crazy. He hits every every attack. Come on now. Okay, this executor definitely coming in hot. I'm gonna do it one more time if it lands it again, because Stomp has not a guaranteed hundred percent accuracy. I would know because I've used Stomp. He's a god. He's a god. You know what? I'm just gonna watch this. Watch this. Uh, turbo. Watch this. How many times is he? He's just... I'll keep doing it! Thank you. Oh, he did something different. Uh... He did something different, and he almost crit killed me. Did you stop? Okay, I think... I think we waited him out. I think he ran out of stomp. Ha! Ha! You, Stomp, I think, only has five uh, PP power points. So take that, Executor. I outlived you, sucker. Now, if I burn it, it doesn't matter if it stomps me because it's only going to do half damage. Get that burn? Yeah! Go ahead, stomp me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Then it shit with a sacred fire, baby! Burn him! Let's go, Rainbow! Woo! 
if we actually got critted rainbow would be dead let's let's not not joke around <laughs> uh i mean technically i did get crit but it wasn't on stomp it was egg bomb mr gc got seven thousand seven hundred dollars thank you all right and there it is the true true ending to the series i hope this was good enough for you guys it is a shorter video but again like i said i wanted to talk to you guys about some things in the works when it comes to pokemon and my expectations and to ask you your what you thought about the series all that was important overall i i love uh pokemon crystal um i do believe i have some nostalgia berry glasses i don't think it is the best but i'm going to be playing the best emerald i'm excited for that i'm going to be trying to make it as challenging as possible so i i'm going to order my my hoenn badges and together we're going to earn them and then i think in the future we're going to do some uh pokemon live streams i think that'll be fun i don't know about you but playing pokemon do some fan games live instead of doing a bunch of edits i think that'd be fun but i'm mr gaming counselor i appreciate you guys for participating in the channel watching the series whether you started from the beginning and you, now you're here or you started halfway a couple episodes in whichever it be i appreciate you you're awesome and i'm mr gaming counselor this is the council's office don't forget to be the best version of yourself like comment subscribe and as always don't forget i was looking for the pokeball i don't have it oh controller time don't forget the game out Woo! oh i did it hit that outro the end